In this lesson for Nick Software's Vivesa, the new plugin product from Nick Software, we'll take a look at how it works within Aperture, Apple's image editing program, version 2.1. After you've loaded the software and you've determined the image that you wish to edit, you can find the software located under Images and drop down to Edit With and click on Vivesa. You can also use a shortcut command which is right click or control click edit with Vivesa and that'll take you to the Vivesa user interface. What's great about this is this interface and this software allows you to place a control point utilizing the powerful U-point technology so we can place a control point right here in this blue area of the sky. I'll increase the size of the area I want to affect and then I'm going to drop the brightness of that blue area and I'm going to increase some saturation. Now what happens is you can see that the blue starts coming up and we'll add a little bit of contrast and it doesn't affect anything else in the picture. It doesn't affect any of the other tonalities. The same thing applies if I want to add a little bit more punch down here in the, in the sunset. For example, we'll come over on this side just a bit and I'll increase my size so that we encompass all this color, this warm orange color right in here. And again, it's not going to affect anything except those tonalities. I'll drop that brightness a bit and then we'll just bump the contrast a little bit here. Watch out for that saturation. It can get a little bit strong if you're not careful. So here's what's going on. If I click over here in the control point list, I have a little box here that shows the selection. And you can see that it's very, very photographic in nature. This white area that you're seeing is the only area that's being affected. And that's, those are tonalities that are similar to the pixel where I clicked on the blue sky. And the same applies down in the sunset in the warm area. All of this light area that you're seeing in this selection is the only area that's being affected. And it's very smooth, very elegant in its design and the way it works and works within those tonalities. And it really is a fabulous way to work really fast. Here's our before and after so you can see that we've added quite a bit to the picture. And then you just click Save. It takes you right back into the Aperture interface. And because we're working non-destructively you'll find that there's a second picture along the bottom in the thumbnail browser and here's the second picture with the edit added. So it's a very very fast way to work non-destructively and it's a powerful tool.